Hi, my name is Mohd Faris Ishad bin Muhammad Zaki. So today we are delving into the realm of thermal management in electronic device, which is a critical aspect in the world of technology. Okay, so uh, for the first one, uh, thermal management, uh, of course, it is essential to maintain device performance and longevity as electronic device continue to uh, advance in speed, size, and power, which is leading to increased heat generation within them. So this rise uh, in heat poses uh, a significant challenge, potentially causing component damage and reducing device lifespan. So therefore, uh, efficient heat dissipation process are crucial to maintain optimal uh, tem operating temperatures and ensure the longevity of our device. In this context, phase change materials or PCMs play a pivotal role so uh, PCMs offer a unique solution by effectively storing and releasing thermal energy through phase transition. So this ability allows PCMs to absorb and release thermal energy during uh, a change of state, such as uh, from solid to liquid without a change uh, in temperature. So uh, as you can see, the first image illustrates uh, PCMs absorbing heat and transitioning from a solid to a liquid state storing a significant amount of latent heat okay so this process actually ensure efficient heat absorption and release while maintaining a constant temperature during the phase change so for the second image we see that the pcm releasing store thermal energy back into the environment showcasing uh, its role in regulating temperature and improving thermal performance in electronic device so by uh, leveraging the capabilities of PCMs, we can revolutionize thermal management practice leading to improve uh, device efficiency and longevity uh, in the, of the modern electronics. Hello, my name is Wan Abakarish Tania. So today I will explain to you the details on the phase change material. So PCM is basically a substance that absorbs and releases thermal energy during a phase transition, such as from solid to liquid through a latent heat. This stabilizes temperature, partially managing heat in electronics and other applications. So PCM category have three, which are organic and organic activity. So organic um, PCM is for stable and non-corrosive and improve thermal stability. Next is inorganic, which are incommunicable and effective and large latent heat storage capacity and lastly eutectic uh, where is the mix between uh, organic and inorganic for sharp phase transition and high latent heat storage so next is the uh, melting temperature for the organic PCM and inorganic salt hydro PCM so uh, the application of a PCM is in a thermal interface material for improved heat transfer and use in heat spreader and heat pipes to distribute heat evenly and lastly to add a device casing for extra thermal protection preventing overheating and enhancing performance and lifespan hi my name is mama Kakuta and in this section that i will be presenting these are the physical properties of the pcm's most relevant for application in thermal management the essential temperature at which PCM transition from a solid to liquid form is known as the melting point. In electronic PCM, most temperatures of phase change are near the temperature at which the device is going to operate as suitable to ensure effective and efficient absorption or release of heat energy by the device. Moreover, there exists a re direct relationship between the latent heat value of and heat storage capacity of PCM. A PCM with high latent heat can absorb a large amount of thermal energy in laptops. When there is a heavy processing load, it keeps the system from overheating. It also makes them suitable for high heat environment like laptops and uh, computer. Without PCM in heat storage unit in the electronic, the junction temperature will increase rapidly. Furthermore, a material ability to transfer heat is indicated by its thermal conductivity, which is a measure of the electricity. While metals used in heatsink have higher thermal conductivity, PCMs offer stronger latent heat storing capacities. 
For security this high thermal conductivity materials should be used in conjunction with the PCMs to improve heat transfer. Metallic fins, random particles and metallic form matrices have been suggested to increase heat transmission along with the PCMs in such system. For instance, research by Sahan demonstrated that a blend of 80% 20% paraffin FE3004 PCMs can enhance thermal conductivity by 60%. Apart from that, PCM like paraffin wax and fatty acid have moderate density, which make it suitable for applications in electronic where weight and volume considerations are critical. Furthermore, a lower density PCM improves heat storage capacity and enables a bigger volume to be included within the constant space of the stocks. Other than that, PCM has a specific heat capacity which helps to hold a large amount of heat. My name is Nur Ayri Nabila and I will continue for mechanical properties and microstructure for, for PCMs. Okay, so to optimize PCMs in thermal management, we must consider their mechanical properties. PCMs lack tensile strength, so uh, they are often encased in robust materials to enhance the stability and prevent leakage. Handling them with care is crucial to maintain structural integrity during operational cycle. PCM exhibit moderate compressive strength but can become structurally unstable and deform if subjected to high temperatures for extended periods near their phase transition points. PCMs exhibit viscoelastic behavior, meaning their deformation varies with temperature and time. This property is particularly important during the, the phase change process when the material transitions uh, from a solid to a liquid. Understanding and predicting this viscoelastic behavior is crucial for ensuring the longevity and reliability of thermal management system utilizing PCMs. And lastly, PCMs are relatively soft when solid and their softness, is, softness increases when they are in a liquid solid. In, the, in a liquid state, sorry. Uh, this property necessitates careful handling and encapsulation to maintain structural integrity during operational cycle. And for microstructure, uh, PCM show different levels of heat conductivity and rates of melting or solidifying depending on their crystallinity. The microstructure, which can be fine grain or coarse grain, is affected by factors like material purity and cooling rate. In their melted state, PCMs become amorphous, uh, making them highly effective at absorbing heat. The liquid, uh, the solid liquid interface during phase transition influences the thermal management and properties of PCMs. Additionally, the microstructure characteristic impact the thermal performance of PCM system affecting specific heat capacity and latent heat of fusion. Hello, my name is Muhammad Afizuddin bin Muhammad Rosli. I will present about fabrication method of PCM and the application of the, this material. Microencapsulation is a uh, technique used to fabricate phase change materials by enchasing them within a protective shell material such as titanium or silicon dioxide. This method involves several steps to create microcapsules which contain a core of PCM. The microencapsulation process starts with preparation of salt solution. This is uh, achieved through hydrolysis of one of the precursor compounds. Then, the salt solution is maintained at pH value between 2 and 3 to create condition for hydrolysis reaction to occur. Then, the silicate, the silicate uh, salt solution is added to PCM emulsion drop by drop while emulsion is keep stirring to prevent formation of any continuous gel and allow, allowing the formation of only discrete silica gel while around PCM droplets. Lastly, the silica shell will be formed on the surface of PCM droplet by the condensation of silica solid particle. Height of pH 9 to 10 condition is maintained in the emulsion to promote condensation reaction. 
PCM have numerous sec- use in numerous sectors because they exhibit a high degree of fle- flexibility. In construction process, PCM can be easily incorporated into construction materials such as concrete, gymsums, textile, and more. PCM add a as energy reservoir, which enable them effective to control the indoor temperature of specific buildings. Besides, PCMs can be used for temperature control in electronic, electrical vehicle, and biomedical application by absorbing and releasing uh, heat during phase change. Lastly, PCM-based thermal energy storage unit can be integrated into shipping container to maintain a cold change condition. This will be safe traverse of temperature sensitive goods. In conclusion, we have explored the significance of thermal management in the electronic device, emphasizing its role in maintaining device performance and longevity. So throughout our presentation, we have discovered how phase change materials, PCM, serve as key players in storing and releasing thermal energy, so thereby uh, enhancing thermal performance in electronic device. So again, by leveraging the capabilities of PCMs, we not only uh, improve device efficiency and longevity, but also uh, contribute to sustainability in the rapidly evolving realm of technology. So as we look to the future, the integration of PCMs in thermal management practice holds immense potential for shaping the landscape of electronic device efficiency and sustainability. Okay, so the researchers or engineers can continue to explore innovative solutions and embrace the transformative power of phase change material in driving progress and sustainability in the world of technology. So thank you for joining us on this presentation of thermal management and the impactful role of PCMs.